Hey guys, I'm going to do this video tutorial on a software program called Handbrake. Handbrake is for all you video marketers out there. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times videos, uh, the quality of the video is low, um, there's audio, video syncing issues, and Handbrake, if you use it, can alleviate some of that problem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through that with you real fast. So here's Handbrake. Okay, so what you need to know is you have to grab source files first. So if I'm going to grab a source, let's get a video file. I think we'll go to my. Uh, I don't know where my video files are because I'm that bad. Now they're over here. Videos, and let's just grab one. So let's just say I want to recode a video. I would open it. Hopefully this works out. Okay, so now I got a video in here. Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to put that video somewhere. So generally speaking, we'll just put this in here. Test for video. And we'll save it. Now, of course, you're going to want to click Web Optimized. And you're going to see a lot of uh, tabs in, in, in this software. First, I want to address one, one detail. A lot of times if there's a video or an audio video syncing problem, it's because the computer that you are using is either not powerful enough a lot of times or you have too many background programs running so what I recommend is you turn off all programs that you're using if you're using a uh, Windows based computer just go to Alt Control Delete and it'll pop up your task manager and you can just get rid of the processes that are not being used at that moment before you start um, converting your video film so okay you, we're in Handbrake, and you have this web optimized dial right here. You're going to want to make sure that this is clicked. And on the reference frames under Advanced, I sometimes keep this at one, and you're going to have to do some tweaking on your own. But four is usually the recommended reference frame to use. Next, we'll go to Chapters. You can leave this blank. You have to mess with subtitles, audio. If you're having audio issues where you're talking and the, and the audio is not syncing up right come over here to the to the 160 and change it to 128 anything lower sounds terrible but go to 128 is a good variable to use here on the audio tab okay next now the newer handbrake I don't think has it maybe it maybe doesn't look this way but under video um, you can leave the video Kodak don't touch that don't touch the frame rates don't don't touch the constant quality. Do touch the average bit rate. It's set by default at 1500, which will give you the highest, highest uh, quality. And you're going to want to do two pass encoding. But now let's talk about this bit rate for a minute. If you are doing a slide presentation, you can drop this back. You can, you can really get away with keeping this high at 1500, uh, 1300, 1200. If you're doing like moving pictures, uh, video, you want might maybe might want to drop this down to like 900, um, 500. And again, you're going to have to mess with this to get the perfect quality for your computer and your video device. Um, you don't have to mess with video filters and you don't have to mess with pictures. So really, you make a change over here in the audio uh, with the bitrate sample, which again, 128 is perfect. You're going to want to make a change over here to the video. You're going to want to change the average bit rate. Two pass encoding will make sure that it, it picks the first, uh, it, it'll pick the best frame rate for the video quality that you're doing. And that's it. And then you go to hit start. <clears throat> and this is going to make an MP4. So the MP4s you can upload to YouTube or any other uh, video sharing site. If, you, if you're hosting your own videos on your own server, MP4s are, are a small enough size that won't take forever to upload. Then just hit start. And you can see it starts encoding right away. Um, it'll uh, eventually it tells you how many, uh, what's the average frame rate, and how much time you got left, and blah 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 blah. Right. So that's a quick tutorial. This is this is by far uh, uh, one of the best software programs I've ever used to do this. <clears throat> now this doesn't address video editing. You're gonna, you know, if you really want to make fancy dancy videos, you're gonna want to use a video editor. There's a lot. Obviously, Adobe has a a really good video editor. It's a bit pricey. I use Pinnacle. That's the editor I use. Um, it's less expensive, but it's still not super cheap. Um, 
I'm making this video with Camastasia. So some of you guys and gals might be thinking, well, how do I do tutorial type videos for people on my list or, or for YouTube channels to up the quality or whatever. Camastasia is the program that I use. There are free programs that you can use that do it, like Jing. Jing has, a, <clears throat> uh, I think they have a free screen sharing video thingamabobber going on there. I figure, what what is it that most uh, marketers use on the internet to do stuff like this? Well, Camastasia is top of the list as being one of the best type of programs for this type of a video. Um, so that's what I use. Handbrake is free. Handbrake doesn't cost anything at all. And it's definitely, if you're having issues with your video, I recommend going ahead and downloading Handbrake, sticking your videos in here, and, and giving this a try and seeing if this cleans up your videos any better. Also, don't forget that a lot of times audio video syncs has to do with your your computer processing power. I remember a couple times <clears throat> I would make videos and my computer would go into sleep mode or hibernation mode while the video was was uh, encoding and it would just stop. So go into your power management settings. Again, I can't talk about Mac computers because I just I don't know enough about how they work to uh, say what to do with them. But if you're a PC based person, um, you want to you want to put your computer or, or have your computer not go into sleep mode so fast and not hibernate so fast because sometimes if you have a long video like a 30 minute video or a 20 minute video or a 15 minute video and if it's if if you got audio in your video or um if you got a lot of different slides and all you know the the bigger the, the bigger the file the longer it's going to take basically and um, on my older computer, before I bought my new computer, I've done videos. It would literally take me five hours, six hours, just <laughs> just to get the video and everything done. Um, <clears throat> but I had a really, really old computer with a really, really, really small hard drive and a really, really, really small processor. So, but all that, you know, whatever. But there you have it. Tutorial. Um, the takeaway here is make videos. Use Handbrake. <laughs> Take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon.